He recently won a Grammy for the best reggae album. That's in addition to the five Grammy he won before that. Now reggae icon Ziggy Marley has just released his latest album. It's called Fly Rasta. It came out earlier this month, April 15th, and a U.S. major tour is underway in 2014 and much, much more. We are now joined by the, leg the legend himself, Ziggy Marley. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, brother. Thank you. What's up, man? Man, talk to me about this music, man. This new album is pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it took us a year to do it. Um, I had some ideas when I went in to do the, the, the project. I wanted to kind of push the boundaries of the music and try and do some things that are different in, in reggae music. And I think we, we achieved that, you know. What, what kind of differences were you looking for? Well, I was just, I, the difference was not to limit myself mm. in, in, the, in the genre that is known as reggae. Yeah. You know, not, not to be um, imprisoned by, by what people might expect. Yeah. You know, of, oh, this is reggae, so it only can be this, it only can sound like that, only this type of instrument. So we introduced different types of instruments like sitars, um, taiko drums, and stuff that has not, not been in typical reggae, reggae songs. How, how difficult was it for you to make that turn? Because, you know, you were making certain kind of music for a very long time, great music, and sometimes it's hard to take that risk and start experimenting. For me, it's easy because my imagination is, you know, my, my imagination is big, and I'm not, I'm not one to try and um, limit myself. So for me, I was just like, Whatever, I'm going to do it, and whatever happens, happens, you know? That's cool, but it wasn't just, to me anyway, uh, the album wasn't just about musical experimentation. The content also, really important. You know, yeah. the, lyric, the yeah. lyrics were, were very powerful and different. Yeah, yeah, the messages, I mean, it's one of the most important elements of my music. Um, if, people don't, if people don't even like the music, the words and what we're saying in the songs is something what people can relate to. Um, for this album... We touch on some different topics. Um, the first song on the album is called I Don't Want to Live on Mars, which is basically a love song to the planet Earth. Um, because I know people talking about Mars these days and you know signing up to go and explore Mars and be on Mars or whatever. And as far as I'm concerned, the Earth is like you know the love of my life. I'm not going to leave her for another planet. Mm. I, want, I want to take care of this planet and treat her good and you know make sure she's all right. You know? um, what does that look like for you? Mean it, mean it. In, in terms of uh, how, how do we treat this earth? How can we treat this earth better? What Yo, we, we really need to take action. We, re we really need more emphasis and more highlight on, on the issue. I think in, in media, it doesn't, seem to be, um, it, it doesn't seem to be in front of the people's face enough. We're not, it's like, we, we, I don't know, we're not taking this seriously as we should. Yeah. It's a real problem and we really should um, be more focused on it. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I, I think me, that should, it should be something that's in the headlines every damn day. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see why not, you know yeah. what I mean? It's it, that serious, you know? Um, but other things on the album which I deal with is, um, there's a few songs in it that talk about overcoming obstacles, overcoming hardship, because I wrote these songs after I myself been through some difficult times, um, some physical stuff, um, health things, mental stuff, and these songs, um, I hope, can um, encourage other people to overcome difficulties. Listen, you know, everybody has their ups and has their downs, everybody has their opinions. Now, I can never say that I'm not attached or I'm not dope anymore, kid. Okay? I'm making, I'm writing movies and directing them and controlling 400 people and scoring them. Yeah. That takes a lot of brain power. 